Well, I tell you, it's uh, what's good about our defensive unit, um, you can also say about the entire team and the way we're playing. Um, from a character standpoint, from a preparation standpoint, uh, from a focus standpoint, uh, our, our, our girls, the entire roster is ready to compete and they're ready to perform, they're ready to execute. Um, there's no doubt that the, um, you know, the shutout percentage, uh, which has now put us at the top of the country, um, there's no doubt the um, goals against average that has us fourth in the country right now, those are, those are products of our process. Uh, they're products of uh, a team being on the same page. Now, there's no doubt. From an athletic standpoint, we have uh, great depth uh, across our back half of the team, um, our trenches, if you will. Uh, and then in our goalkeeping unit, we have a very talented goalkeeper unit, all three of them in Lacey, uh, Morgan, and Lily. They all have done a fantastic job, and they're prepared to play. Uh, but you, know, you, don't, you don't reach that milestone uh, with, with five or six players. you got to reach that milestone with 18, 19, 20 and so I've been proud of how we play. I've been proud of um, the overall commitment to team defense uh, and, and ultimately limiting opportunities that other teams have against us. Like I said before, one of, the, one of the other stats that I'm really excited about is we are still last in the conference in saves. Uh, so we're asking our goalkeepers to make three, maybe four saves a game in critical moments from areas that we are prepared to concede and allow those shots because that's their strengths. Uh, and so when everyone's on the same page, when everyone's com competing the way that we're competing, it can be a lot of fun, and then you, you're, you're able to, to enjoy moments like these. Oh, it's exciting. Uh, I tell you, one of the things that I'm really excited about with this group uh, you know, in the beginning, it's it's laying down some schemes. It's identifying principles of play and how we want to play our identity as a team. Uh, and and in the early part of the season, it's it's primarily uh, you know them listening uh, and then trying to execute. Well, now what we have is we get into the back half of our season and really get in preparations for postseason is the kind of conversations that as a staff we're having with our players, the tactical insight. Um, the the comfort level uh, and the unique perspectives that we get from our players and dialogue in game dialogue that we have uh, that's that's very special um, and it shows to me that you know that the the learning part of our games and in game learning is so critical and uh, have been very proud of our team uh, really in the past two to three weeks and their tactical savvy. Um, approach and their ability to shift and shape um, and then understand that once we shift and shape how do the tactics change without me having to give those away to the opposing team and what we're trying to do uh, so our nonverbal communication and and uh, basically how we initiate changes in our shape I tell you it's really fun it's really exciting uh, and we are getting better every day and and literally getting better every time we play and so I think uh, I think the match against Abilene Christian, who was very good, played with a, a different shape that we had not really seen this year, and allowed us to to do some different things and put ourselves under pressure in certain areas that we know will pay off uh, as as soon as Friday, as we go into a big game against uh, Southeastern Louisiana. Well, you know, first things first is you've got to be prepared to compete. Uh, if, as a staff, we have not done uh, our job and put our players in a position to compete uh, and show up and, and match intensity and impose themselves in emotion, um, then tactics, tactics don't mean anything. Now, uh, against great teams like Abilene Christian and Southeastern Louisiana and Nichols and you know, many of the teams we have coming up on our schedule, uh, emotion's not enough, but what I will tell you is with with the trust that I have in this team, with how they have performed, uh, with the consistency they have had in their preparation over the entire season, it allows us to begin to introduce more advanced tactics. It allows us to begin to have these conversations because there is trust that first and foremost they understand uh, how important it is to compete. And so that's exciting. Uh, so the mental the mental growth um, and the uh, the overall development has been really, really fun to watch.
Sure. Well, yeah, you know, and, and I've seen I've seen what you've alluded to. I've seen it um, at different times, um, but I will tell you, yesterday was a really well-rounded performance, um, and our ability to keep our composure, change our shape, change our tactical ideas, uh, ultimately play with 19 and 20 players. Uh, so again, continuing to build our depth to make sure we're prepared for for very good Friday games and very good Sunday games. Uh, and, and so when you see those things come together uh, for an entire match like we saw on uh, yesterday, uh, it is exciting. And, um, you know, as they get more and more comfortable and as the expectation to perform and compete continues to be represented in training every day as well as in games, um, those conversations will only increase. And what I liked about it was, you know, you, you, may, you may pick up on some of the conversations with upperclassmen, but I'll tell you that our freshmen are just as inquisitive and, and are beginning to embrace tactics and speed of play and uh, overall expectations technically. And, and yesterday, you know, it boils down to two things. Uh, you know, once the emotion and the competitive standard has been set and once you're on the same page from a tactical standpoint and your ability to be flexible, it comes down to your technique and it comes down to your ability to run. Uh, your commitment to running, and uh, and so those those two things, if those are represented, it allows us to do some very special, uh, you know, things from from a roster standpoint. That if you don't set the standard, if you don't execute technically, and you aren't prepared to run, you you can't you can't do those things. Should be fine. Yep, yeah, it was a good good strong tackle. Um, uh, you know, both players, uh, it was a competitive moment. You know, they both went in for the same ball. Uh, there was no contact from player to player. My understanding is it was all just force and energy into the ball at the same time. And, you know, like I said to her and, and as I've said to our staff and, and even to their team, um, you know, uh, in any given moment that if, if, that, if that opportunity presented itself again, um, if their player bails out of it, she's going to hear about it. If our player bails out of it, she's going to hear about it. So it's just one of those moments. There was no, there was no malicious intent. There, it was just two players working hard, trying to win the ball for their team. Uh, but uh, Rachel, Rachel will be just fine, um, and she'll be ready to go this week.